Hey viewers, welcome to the first Twitch stream for Armorsmith. I wanted to give you guys a quick demo of what I've been working on for the last year or so. Um, so the idea behind this tool is to kind of aid in the design and the building of costumes. Uh, let me give you a quick tour of some of the features that I've completed so far. <clears throat> so the idea of having this dummy here isn't uh, finished yet, but the idea would be that be able to load in different parts of the costume and attach them and you'd be able to uh, adjust the scale and size of this model so that uh, you can match it up to your own form to make it a little bit easier when you're you know scaling and, and trying to build a, a costume so you don't have to print a part out a dozen times before you get the scale right so uh, jumping in uh, what I want to do is go to import and you can import uh, PDO files, which are the common file format for Pavakura. Uh, so if I load in my Iron Man Mark III model here, you can see this is the, uh, the chest piece. You can obviously uh, rotate around, pan, all the standard kind of uh, zoom in, zoom out. You can normally do with uh, this kind of software. Um, up here in the top right is the 2D view, so you can switch between them by clicking on the thumbnail and it bounces you back and forth. Um, down here is kind of my uh, first attempt at setting up uh, some properties that you'll be able to edit. Uh, right now it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, the idea in the future will be that this will kind of be a property grid where you can uh, adjust the different settings for each workspace. Um, the idea of the workspaces are that um, what's kind of different from Pepecura is you can load in multiple of these. Uh, so if I then load in the back, it loads it up right beside it. And so you could essentially load in all the parts for your costume and then they're all inside of one file. So you're not like scrambling around trying to find all the different files for a particular costume. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of cool. So you can switch between each one and show you the unfold there. Uh, what else is on here? So um, scale. So down here you can switch between the different units, millimeters, centimeters, inches, or percent. And then you can just uh, edit them here. And it scales it up. So let's see, you know, zoom in. Z for zoom. And uh, one cool thing that uh, they don't have in Pepecura is if you uncheck uniform scale, you can scale just one particular dimension. So if I think the width is too big, you can do that. And, oh, look at that. Scale down. So yeah. Oops. Click on that one so it's the active one. Uh, some of the tools over here. <laughs> Settings, nothing in there yet. Uh, help just kind of brings you up uh, what some of the keyboard shortcuts are. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of all there is to see in the 3D mode. So I will jump down now into 2D mode here. And this kind of has a lot of the same uh, functionality that you'd find in uh, Pepcura Designer. So uh, if I go into the tools here and click translate, it tells you what your current tool is down here. I can move the parts around. I can select multiple parts by holding control and clicking. Um, I don't have uh, click and drag working yet, but I'll be pl I'm planning on implementing that uh, in the near future. Uh, you can rotate. And there's keyboard shortcuts for those. I usually like to use the, the keyboard shortcuts or switching between the different tools. I find it a little bit easier than going through the menus. Um, the other one is the join cut tool, which allows you to split the pieces apart. And there's undo and redo for all these tools, so get back to the original pieces. Whoa, too far. Oh, that's a, a nice, neat little bug there. 
Delete that for now. Pop over to another one. <laughs> Take a look at that after the stream. So yeah, that's kind of the basic functionality. Uh, pop out of here and import another one. Oh, yeah. Calf. So print that working now. I'll print just to a file to kind of show exactly what it uh, prints out. So I'm use this uh, document writer here. Don't need all those pages for testing. Let's just do uh, pages 0 to 3. Let's try that out. Okay, print. those three pages. Pops up a little dialog to let you know that it's working. And then I open up documents, test 40. This is exactly what you would see if you were to print it out on paper. Um, one thing that I've added instead of alignment marks is this dashed line around the outside. The nice thing about having that there is that when you have pieces that uh, are kind of bigger than just the initial page, it shows you exactly where to cut. Normally what I have to do is I'll look at the alignment marks and then draw with a ruler a line across. So this just kind of takes one less step uh, out of the whole procedure. So yeah, that's kind of where the tool is right now. Um, I'll be uh, continuing to evolve it in the future and uh, hope you give it uh, a download and, and uh, let me know what you think of it. Thanks. Bye.